why national park superintendents it was about a year and a half ago. So the summer of 2022, I was visiting my younger sister up in Seattle, having dinner with some of our family friends, the wife, she has two sisters and one of the sisters, she was a park ranger and met another park ranger and they ended up getting married. And this said like husband of hers, however many years later ends up being the Yellowstone superintendent. I remember at that dinner, Yellowstone had just had a really big and devastating flood. And they were talking about everything he was having to do to kind of manage that. They were talking about his experience. I honestly was floored. Like I remember the rest of that night, I could not stop thinking about the park superintendents. My family literally was like, Maddie, chill. Just got really excited. And then that's kind of when I started telling everyone. And it was about October of that year when I actually sat down and I was like, okay, how do I do this? I actually started connecting with the superintendents and then recording the interviews and got to where I am today. And it's been really cool hearing the stories of the superintendents and bringing a storytelling framework to their careers um, because I think they're often overlooked. Like they are so crucial to our park service and like protecting our national parks. Uh, and I think they don't get the recognition that they deserve.